Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Battle of Empires 1914-1918. This looks like it's going to be a heck of a lot of fun here as we test it out. I'm going to go ahead and give you a tour of uh, the options and things in the game as we did for Men of War Assault Squad 2 as that was in beta. This too is in an early access available now on Steam. Again, Battle of Empires 1914-1918 featuring both the, uh, well, all of the French, Russian, uh, Great Britain and German forces, and possibly more to come. There's options to play multiplayer and single player, and of course the options as well are very similar to Men of War Assault Squad and Men of War Assault Squad 2, as well as mod support, it seems, uh, as well. So, uh, we'll go ahead then and start with some single player. This is my very first time starting it up, aside from adjusting the volume, I've done nothing else. Uh, Network also, I did check that out, and it does seem to offer some attack defense modes, as World War One was very heavily focused on that kind of scenario of uh, both defending a position with full attack and then eventually counterattacking that position. Let's go ahead and get right into single player then and we'll go into select mission here. We can uh, choose from boot camp or France. I'm a little bit of a seasoned veteran when it comes to war game or men of war I should say uh, not war game but uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a little bit of a try as France, and I'm assuming eventually there'll be more factions available, of course, but keep in mind this is early access, so uh, we'll be playing the uh, missions from the French side. Uh, we'll be playing on, let's say, Normal Baptism by Fire. Ironically enough, the first mission title for the Soviets in the uh, Men of War uh, series. But anyway, let's do a Baptism by Fire here and watch this cutscene. There may not be any audio to this. There's no uh, music either. We can see the German forces on the move here shortly, uh, possibly after the assassination of Franz Ferdinand. And uh, though not a lot uh, of people really know about the history of World War I, myself included, this is probably one of the most horrific wars ever fought, considered to be the Great War after the First World War. Here, Sergeant K. Blanger says, the war against the Bosches, has, which is, I believe, the Germans, has just started. My friend, uh, friends Arnie and Rene, as well as I, mobilized the second week of the war. A week after that, I had already been sent to the artillery regiment near Langry. My friends have joined the infantry regiment. It is said the Germans had inflicted heavy damage to our forces, and we're retreating now. On parting, or on parting we have vowed to shower the Bosches how real, show the Bosches how real French men fight. All right, let's do it. Uh, Ferdinand Folk, any excuse can be used to start a war if someone needs this war. So uh, it's the end of August 1914 near Longvie, France. I may have misread that. <laughs> I guess cursive here is not my best strong suit, but here we go. All right, a train of French reinforcements obviously arriving now onto the battlefield. The retreat has uh, been going on here. Uh, same train and train cars as shown in Men of War Assault Squad. A lot of the same models, but this more vibrant. Get out of the train. The Germans are already here. Christian Blanger saying, "Get the hell out." And it looks we like the Germans are pushing. Will be into pieces. All right, so it looks like uh, the keys. I haven't even set those up. Usually, I use WASD to move around. Uh, arrow keys, not even. Uh, not even set up yet, so we'll do that. Looks like ever we've been ambushed, basically. Uh, the Germans here. Oh wow! Even the first uh, Men of War assault, uh, Men of War uh, aiming reticle. This is fantastic. M here bringing up our mini map. Here you can see uh, the train line in a German defensive position. Train taken out by artillery up there. Going to go ahead and then quickly go into this and show off some of the options then uh, for. This game, there's the ability to micromanage grenades and throw them as well. So we're going to go ahead and uh, head into the camera mode. Uh, let's see, we're going to go ahead and put uh, W, A, uh, S, and D as our controls here. Good thing that I'm starting this up uh, so that way you can learn along with me. Also, throwing a frag grenade, I usually like to use uh, E for that. And throwing AT grenade, I usually select that on... Uh, or no, actually I use that as F. And then also one of the most important things too is to have a troop rotate himself. But we'll get back to that a little bit later. This game also does feature the ability to direct control troops. So you can actually tell a troop to um, run wherever you'd like him to run. 
I don't know if I can actually control him now. The controls, again, are a little not actually set up yet. Oh, here, I use the arrow keys, so I'll have to set that up. But you can see these troops can, uh, they can actually moonwalk. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Well, the French have some dance moves for sure, and the Germans have a defensive position here. Germans' uh, defensive position. The audio sounds will need a little bit of work, and I'll have to get used to right, left clicking with these troops. You can select them in any. You don't. You actually select troops individually rather than whole groups, as in like uh, a game such as Company of Heroes. So these troops are moving out now. You can hear them responding in French. If you do speak French, go ahead and let us know what they're commenting down below. Viva la France, obviously something about hating France. I'm just kidding there. But, um, so look at these troops. Look at how detailed they are. Just, I mean, it literally looks like the American Civil War in some cases. This is how interesting this war was. It was a, both a combination of uh, industrialization and tradition, making it really a, just an astounding... Uh, wow, everybody's saying attack and everything like that. We will go ahead and then get our attack ready. But yes, really an astounding... Uh, this is going to be one hell of a game. So there's two artillery pieces up here. Uh, a couple of... Uh, ooh, ooh, that doesn't look good. German uh, machine gewehr. It is an MG-08. So that's a water-cooled MG. Don't want to get near that. Best thing to do then here is pro uh, probably take this troop, a group of troops here to the right, have them sprint up here. Double clicking allows us to sprint. That blue bar down there shows the uh, troops' stamina being reduced. More elite troops have better stamina and uh, can actually uh, have, I guess you could say, uh, more vita vitality on the field. Oh, and that MG, uh, oh, losing uh, a Frenchman there, unfortunately. These audio sounds uh, do sound like someone just spoke into kind of a cheaper microphone to say them, but I will assume that that will be fixed in the future. You can see the Germans up here firing down on us. MG sounds very real. I like that, and that thing is firing away. Wow, artillery piece hitting there on our defensive position, knocking out all those guys. We're going to have to be very careful with our losses here. Let's get up here, see if we can run up this uh, hill. Unfortunately, these guys can't directly cl climb up the uh, ledge, I suppose. This machine gun seems to be down for now. Let's take one of these guys up here and see if we can get him to run. A couple of these guys breaking right. Going to try to get a grenade up there. I'm not sure if we are actually armed with grenades, which we are not. This guy, though, uh, can pick these guys off as he gets a little closer. Let's send troops through. Now, rather than being out in the open with our troops like that, where the artillery can really strike and do some damage, we're going to want to go to the go to the right side into the uh, into the ditch here. Get all of our troops over there. Looks like a lot of them are starting to die and or get hit. A brutal war, though, and losses are inevitable. Doesn't look like any of our troops are actually carrying any sort of uh, grenades. There's an attack round and an attack move. Uh, I don't think that's actually attack move, um, but again. This game can be a little difficult with its commands. With no grenade, we're going to have to actually just go up here and take cover against that position and flank it. Pick, uh, pick these guys off there. Again, a lot, a huge losses from these MGs. Since I'm playing for th this for the first time, I had no idea that artillery was that crazily effective. Look at that. An, an artillery hit over here killed guys all the way over there. Usually in uh, regular Men of War, it has to be right in the center there, otherwise nothing's happening. And it uh, looks like, oh, looks like that MG, or the um, MG is down. And it looks like that gun was able to fire on us as we were on the move. So we only have a few troops left, and they apparently can see everything with no FO, no forward observer. I'm not exactly sure where this guy is in the back. There must be one guy stuck on the train. Here's somebody. Get these guys to move up here. This will be our last attempt to try to take this top here. And as you can see, even though I'm very skilled at this, uh, at this game and its engine and such and very knowledgeable, this is a whole new game to me and a very fantastically refreshing scenario. Looks like the Germans are back on the MG again. Very smart AI to retake that position. Let's see if we can get back up here. MG not hit, hitting anybody. We're real lucky. Oh, wow. A couple Frenchmen got back up here and have taken out those uh, artillery guns, I think. Let's get the hell away from them. Horses here. We can actually ride them, it seems. And a couple more Germans on the other side. Take up some more defensive positions. That uh, MG there. Oh, wow. We actually sniped that guy off. Maybe out of ammunition. Germans over there picking off our guys. 
See if we can get on that MG. We only need one of these guys to take the MG, but the whole group's heading over. We can actually select troops as you just saw there for a second. I can actually steal ammunition from the Germans. The ammunition types are usually standard, though they weren't in real life nor in the war. Uh, rifle ammo is just rifle am ammo in the game, so if you need to, you can just steal from enemy troops. Neutralized artillery completed with just a few men left. So, wow, we, we really got brutally annihilated there. And uh, I'm liking that. We were able to uh, really... Uh-oh. A little bit of a defensive position here. Looks like the Germans may be coming across here. All right, we got to get uh, lined up with the main force. Luckily, we can use this position as artillery support now. We can actually, uh, I think actually we can use these horses to, oh well, one of these horses to uh, move the, um, unfortunately horses can't be repaired like in Man of War Assault Squad 2. So let's take this gun. I want this guy to get on this gun with him. It takes two men to move a gun, such as this. They got to pick it up and actually manually carry it. So let's uh, bring this over across the bridge. And it looks like we have control of both of these artillery guns on the top of the hill, but we're not going to use them just yet. Uh, again, I must remember to left-click to select and left-click to give orders. All right, so wow, look at that. All those men dead just to take that position. And that's the truth of World War I, unfortunately. With a brutal war and a brutal campaign spanning across a multitude of years with hundreds of thousands, millions maybe dead, and in horrible ways, gas and fire and bombs and wow was it a hell of a time to be alive quite literally uh there is 77 millimeter shrapnel and he rounds there are shrapnel rounds that is astounding that is going to devastate the enemy and possibly what they could have been using against us so obviously this being a more infantry focused game uh meaning that there's going to be more ways to unfortunately kill infantry in, in horrific and brutal ways Realistic, though, and uh, here's our officer, Edgar Rout uh, Routerne, who has a mo model 1892 revolver. Sweet. Looks like we've got some uh, guns here. We've got an artillery Schneider. It's a 75 millimeter uh, gun. Looks like we've got French ready to go everywhere. Another, uh, is this, is this, uh, this is a Saint Entity Mel 1907. Of course, I'm going to say these wrong, so I do apologize. My knowledge of those weapons are very limited. Um, is limited, I should say. And we're going to put this... I don't know what the range is on some of these weapons, too. You get so used to a game, it can be an advantage or a disadvantage. We can change artillery position. We do have the option to hold fire or to uh, fire at will, such uh, things like that. We can even drop off crew. We can actually just tell these guys to hop off the thing. And, uh, and they'll kind of abandon the gun if it's about to be captured or if we need to retreat and just leave the gun behind. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, make sure this thing can shoot. Look at the range on this. I believe this is in meters, 70, 80 meters. So we actually can fire in front of these guys. So that is a very deadly position for this gun. Let's get our, um, let's get our uh, officer to communicate with these guys and figure out what's going on. Unfortunately, if we would have had more men alive... This is a baptism by fire, so of course, you know, things are going to be hellish. So, if we have more men alive, that means better holding the defensive position. And, uh, let's see if... Where exactly are we supposed to go here? Uh, let's check our objectives, which is down in the lower left corner. It says, join the main forces, which is here. So, if we put our officer right here, actually, we didn't have to go that far. But, um, that should link us up with everybody. Now, we do have, let's see, cavalry. We have, uh, just a... Oh, this, apparently, this is an artilleryman. So he could be a forward observer, perhaps, or he could actually be used to transport the uh, gun, which I'm assuming that's really his main role. And uh, no vehicles to be seen yet. Join Finally, the main forces complete. Was taking you so long. <laughs> My apologies, Alex. We have been attacked by Germans. You have been damaged too, as far as I can see. Only artillery fire brings casualties at the moment. But I think they will start an offensive soon. We thought that Germans were five kilometers away from us. Looks like the officers have been mistaken. We need to get ready oh and boy. prepare our defenses. Sergeant Berend, you are now in charge of the engineer section. Order them to carry out defensive operations. A little spelling error there. No big deal. All right, so we've been given orders to take control of the engineering battery. Or the engineering troops, and uh, strange. The German artillery went silent. Oh boy, they're about to attack. Looks like you had destroyed the artillery already before coming here. 
Whoa! You have just come to the front line and have become notable already. I think those captured guns will be useful. Absolutely. We've turned them on to the enemy right away in order to get artillery fire on them. Maximum range looks to be well over 200 meters. Uh, looks like we can fire up to 225 meters, so that gives us coverage across the bridge and could stall the Germans if there's anything that... Uh, well, they're going to have to cross that bridge if they want to get a, uh, an attack on us, though they can also cross here, too, in, in lighter or in lower, um, lower areas where the water is not so deep. Uh, good for fording the river and possibly vehicles coming next. We don't exactly know. Um, we do have the ability to bring the horse over here, but I think we should stay right where we're at just to see exactly what happens. So, all right, the enemy attack should be coming any moment. We've got some extra troops to use. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, they're indicated by very faint yellow uh, lines, which is very difficult to see, so that could be a little different. Um, we're supposed to set up defensive... Uh, positions so here under the gear menu under use item we can set up breastwork barbed wire and we can even uh, go as far as to holster our weapons if we wanted to so let's get a few of these guys out into the field to set up defenses it actually might be too late with all the defense talking they did about what needs to be done most importantly barbed wire to keep the troops at bay while we open fire on them would be highly important we're going to use the item and set up barbed wire. So wherever this guy is standing, just think of kind of a line coming out from him. Wherever I click, that's the direction he's going to build the barbed wire in. And my god, is that huge barbed wire. That's absolutely massive. That's as tall as a human being. That is, uh, that is some serious defense. All right, we've got some breastwork from this guy. He doesn't have the barbed wire as the other troop did. So we're going to send him back and set up extra defensive positions just in case um, we start taking heavy fire and need to retreat to other positions. In fact, I do believe, just as in Men of War Assault Squad, this game also, if a direct hit lands next to artillery, can blow the entire pile of bags over and uh, basically renders an area defenseless uh, as the defense position would be eliminated by the artillery and by the, uh, the troops being killed. All right, we got some more barbed wire here. Let's go ahead and make another, uh, another set of barbed wire. Looks like there's a small village here and a nice windmill. I like the lighting in this game. It's really so much different than Men of War. It's so refreshing. Very cool. Um, really good to see this game. Really surprised in seeing it, too, when I uh, was told about it. Uh, I thought, wow, that seems really interesting. That really seems unique, and my word is it ever. All right, so as you can see, there's artillery uh, divots or craters in the ground. By the way, when you're firing artillery, those craters will be created as well, and you can actually use those for cover. And the great thing about that is if you're getting artillery to hell, uh, they can only keep hitting you for so long until basically they've started to create more cover for you. Though, of course, that comes at the cost of your own troops' lives. So, uh, let's see. Our new objective is to prepare your uh, positions for an attack. We're going to take some time to do this then. And this is kind of a, a main feature of the game of kind of setting up your own defenses before the enemy attacks. We could have five minutes left. We could... Uh, basically have to only set up a certain number. I don't exactly know what the trigger is here. Perhaps if we just build enough stuff, they'll eventually come. Because, of course, as you know with defenses, if you build it, they will come. We uh, also have, um, let's see, we have uh, both barbed wire and breastwork. No mines or anything yet. I'm not exactly sure if that was used as much in World War I at this time, anyway, in 1914, when the war initially began. And it looks like the French are still somewhat on the... Uh, they're a little bit dazed from the initial German attacks. So it looks like things aren't necessarily uh, yet set up for a main or, or full-scale war, though there are troops ready. Uh, and this really... This has been an amazing year for World War I games. There's been uh, Valiant Hearts. There's been... Oop, well, here comes the Germans now. There's also been Verdun. And we're about to see some World War I action happen here. All right, we're going to get to cover now. Here they come. Damn it, look at that. Holy crap. Wow, that guy caught out in the open. Well, we're going to have to leave him there. There's no hope. Looks looks like the Germans are coming. Let's fire back at him. Look at that. They're all they're all bunched up. Fire that cannon. There we go. Look at that. Amazing. Cannons are reloaded. Good hits there. The Germans are uh, really grouping up nicely for artillery. 
extremely powerful artillery. You definitely don't want it to be used against you, but man, is it awesome to control. Looks like the Germans are pushing that left flank pretty hard. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to uh, get over there with our artillery, and they're just kind of murdering our troops here. Let's get that MG over there. Where is that MG? There we are. Now, of course, if we had more troops, that would have been a better position to put that over there on the left. We're starting to lose some positions. Looks like the Germans are grouped up again. We're going to try to hit them before they cross that river. Ooh, we didn't want him to come up here. We'll just keep him in the back. That sergeant should probably stay alive. Uh, let's see. Looks like another good group of Germans coming up. That's probably well within, uh, well out of our range. Germans trying to get across the bridge. No, you don't. Extremely accurate artillery as well. I believe it is it is a 77 miller, millimeter FK 96. All right, our MG is down. Okay, we're taking command of all troops now. Victory or death. Boche, that's what they call them. Sometimes I hear them called Bosch. We've got a good uh, machine gun position here. We can probably take command of that MG. They're starting to take us down. we got to reload here. Take some of these Germans down. Damn. Now, of course, if you didn't know, as most people should know, even Adolf Hitler himself fought in this war. And thus, this war was so brutal on Europeans that it actually fueled a whole nother conflict. In fact, it could be even seen as that World War II was just a continuation of World War I after a brief... Uh, relaxation, uh, if you will, in order to continue things. In fact, the Korean War as well, just as brutal, and things aren't quite finished there as well. But um, we see the Germans now coming across the fields. It looks like there could possibly be, oh boy, they're bringing their own artillery now. We need to make a decision on how to get out of here, but it says take the guns to the station. So let's do that then. We'll link up with this artillery gun, see if we can get out of here. Again, we'll have to left click with that. Horse is ready to go. Oh wow, look at that, he can really go. That's really cool. Wow, he can really go. Alright, so we have to get them to the station. I'm not exactly sure where the station is. Uh, is that is that right here? Hope not, because that's crawling with Germans. We're going to have to come over here and take up a defensive position. Where the hell's the... Where's the station? Go, horse. Oh, here. Wow, I just ran past it. That's a weird station, I guess. I don't know what we're going to do with this. Oh, damn it, the Germans. Alright, so they're really pushing up. As you can see, bags are blown up. Alright, we're going to have to retreat. They're, they're calling in their artillery now. They greatly outnumber us. Let's get out of here. We're going to have to retreat quite a bit. And they're using shrapnel rounds, which seem to be exploding just above the ground, possibly. Don't let the Germans capture the station. That's a primary objective. Let's actually not fall back that far. It's strange how this looks like the station, but this is the objective. It's not clearly marked. It is possible that we'll need to retreat uh, to another line. So we've got plenty of Frenchmen right up here to fight. Canada also very greatly involved in this war. That was a shrapnel round right there, and man, it was that brutal. We can keep some of our reinforcements in the rear. This actually was a good move. They can heal up and come back up to the war as soon as uh, that artillery has stopped. We can actually counter that enemy artillery with our own, and that might be a good move, though I don't think we can actually hit them all perfectly. That's something I should have did at the start. I forgot we actually had access to this kind of artillery like this. We can hit three of the guns, two of the guns, two of the three guns, and we can crawl up again with these troops, hopefully catch the Germans off guard. And uh, actually, it seems like if we right-click, we can actually point the troops in the direction that we want them to be in. All right, now we've got the courage to fight again here. Artillery's been stopped, mostly, except for that one gun, which is better than uh, all three, of course. And the place is crawling with Germans. We're going to get back up here with our reinforcements again. Well, not our reinforcements, but 
They think that we've fully retreated from the field. I guess they're a little mistaken. We got that uh, artillery gun out of there. I guess that fell back to this position. This is a 75mm HE. Takes a while to load this one. We've pretty much finished them off. We're lucky. Looks like our friendly troops. Nope, those are enemies. Alright, let's get all the men on the line that we can. We need every rifle ready to rock. That gun, AT, an enemy artillery gun rather, still firing that shrapnel. Really good that we got out of there when we did, and the Germans didn't really break through that time. We can actually push up with this artillery and try to get within range. Let's try to do that. Oh, you know what? Two men have to be on this gun in order to push it. Damn. Alright, let's get this guy off one gun. We should. And we'll get him on this gun, and we'll push this one forward. And we'll try to take out the rest of that enemy artillery. Meanwhile, another attack is still pushing. Shoot at the men in front of you. Stand up and fight. German officer there with his handgun. He's down. Telling these guys to uh, manually target the closest troops first. They pose the greatest threat, better accuracy at close range, of course. Oh, wow. These positions are really starting to be pushed to the greatest limits. All right, this artillery piece seems to be ready. We have a shrapnel round available. Oh, hello, Germany. Avita Zane. Round went into the house there. I thought it would actually do some damage and break through, but Germans not to be. Wow. So there's some serious tactics going on here. Let's see if we can get this gun down. Oh, we, oh, we only have shrapnel left now. There we go. Gun's been damaged a little bit. Gun's still firing. Alright, we've knocked them off the gun. Looks like the enemy is going to try to attack this direction now. We're going to try to kill as many of them as we can until we have to uh, abandon this defensive position. There's a lot of them coming now. They're coming through the manor area here. They're carrying a full kit as well. The German troops, as you can see. Look at, look at the graphics on that. Just amazing, the level of detail on these troops. And all, all that they had to carry into, into battle like that. They're literally carrying everything with them into battle. It's amazing. Oh, this is not good. Goodbye. That's not good for them. Right, we got a German who's very close to our gun right now, who I can see on the mini-map. But still trying to liquidate these troops at range. Quite literally, just vaporizing these troops with these artillery hits. And it looks like they're actually flanking us from this position now. My god, we need to get back on that MG. Where's that MG? It's probably hopelessly lost deep behind enemy lines. Oh man. Artillery gun is still firing. Let's get that gun in a new position. It's actually kind of caught in the house a little bit. Okay, we've lost our artillery position up here. No more firing at the Germans from up there. Let's see, take the guns to the station seems to have been completed, though... I guess we moved it since then. So we can look at our message history. This is a secondary objective now. Just don't let the Germans take the station. This is this is an interesting uh, game, by the way, as there's much more going on in terms of defense than there actually was in the other games. Usually an attack would be a wave of infantry, another wave of infantry, and then tanks with infantry. And there's so many Germans here, it's ridiculous. Oh, well, we didn't want that to fire. I was actually going to manually control that and take this group out here. An artillery gun, just amazingly powerful. Look at that. Just boom. Just vaporized. Alright, so objective failed there. Uh, the Germans have held, taken the station here. Th 303 losses there. Amazing. 
Alright everyone, so through the magic of editing and auto-saving, which by the way you're probably going to be using this a hell of a lot more in this game, we've actually set up our positions a little bit differently now that we know exactly where the enemy's going to come from, which is pretty much how it was played out in Blitzkrieg and Men of War as well. So anyway, we've got two guns here that are a little closer together or a little closer to the enemy where they'll spawn from. We also have our machine gun ready and we have our troops well away from danger where the artillery, where the uh, scripted artillery is going to fall. And by the way, one of the hardest things is that it's so hard to see these troops without an actual nice line around them. It's one of the things that I found out a lot of these troops just getting lost in the trees and me not really being able to manage them at one point. So we've been ordered to build defenses but we're not going to do that just yet because artillery is going to be built up uh, and fired against us. Once that stops, we're going to build a better defense around the station and try to consolidate all of our troops around that line as it's going to be the only area we really need to hold. It's not an objective of don't let the enemy pass the train line, it's more of a don't let them capture this area which is here. It's um, This is the station you know, loading platforms, but the station according to the game is uh, this uh, control house here or this control building. So we do have our Schneider gun, we do have our MG here, again we won't get access to these units until the uh, the Major dies and uh, a couple of things play out, so we kind of just have to wait for the game to take its uh, natural course. One thing I'm going to do is put these guns on hold fire, so that way we can manually fire them, and by pressing I, we can actually see, uh, we can move this out of the way and actually look at what we have here. This must be a repair kit, and we have four 77mm um, HE shells and 14 77 millimeter shrapnel shells. Shrapnels are more like a shotgun and HE is more for concentrated troops and or possibly vehicles. Looks like one of these guns only has Get 17. The the Alright, so they're coming. We're not going to fire yet. We're away from the line. If we would have had our men back here where I probably wanted to put them, they would have probably died. Remember that artillery is extremely powerful. Unfortunately, that defensive line knocked out immediately. Except for these guys happen to be alive, I guess. Alright, so we've got a group running up here. We're not going to fire until we get more desperate. Um, we've got some troop movements on the left. Again, we're going to just try to reserve as many troops as possible. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. We're going to move up on the left and start building those defenses now that the enemy's... Uh, now that the enemy's artillery barrage has ceased, though there's actually a nice group of them right here. Let's go ahead and take them down right now. Uh, let's go ahead and fire. Beautiful. Bridge knocked out and half of goddamn Hamburg blown up with it. Wow, incredible that artillery. Got a lot of our, got a lot of men on the left now. Let's see if our guns can fire this far. Don't think they can. If so, we're gonna support these men. If not, we're just gonna have to hold. It's best to save as many of these men as you can. By the way, when I'm selecting these groups, you can only select a total number of troops. That's I, I'm not exactly sure. I believe it's eight. Yes. So these groups, these troops, will have to move in groups of eight squads. We should. I guess is what some people would call them. Wow! Look at our troops. Just even behind defenses, are just getting knocked down by the number of Germans. So it looks like we can only fire about 179 meters out. So that left side's. The getting crushed. We'll get access to our troops in just a second. I'm dying. Take command of company. Monsignor Major, I have ordered you to avenge him. For France, victory or death. Do not become too furious, Sergeant. We need to make a decision on how to get out of here and kill as many of those bullshit going so. Alright, our machine guns moved up. Let's go ahead and plop that down. Now the great thing about the machine gun is that it can instantly fire and kill a lot of troops, but that reload is murderous. May as well put our Schneider gun on hold fire too. He's got shrapnel rounds as well. Now that we can use this, we may as well. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Attack. Now I'm not sure if we get gas or anything like that, but I'll let you know as soon as I do. And you guys, of course, can comment below if you're watching on later videos and such. Uh, go ahead and click down below to check out more of this great game. Check out the playlist and everything as well. And thanks for your awesome support. Um, let's see if we can get that front line. Looks like they've actually set up their own counter artillery now. And they're trying to get up the hill. Our machine gun not hitting them. 
great work, machine gun. Are you kidding me? The guy's too high to uh, to shoot at, so they just figured they'd fire blindly. All right, so we killed that guy. Here's the enemy artillery, and here's what we use our HE rounds for. Stop them before they even fire. There's one down. That other one's gonna fire before it's too late, I think. Or unfortunately, I think this one will fire. We gotta blow through this house first in order to get through it. Yep, there goes the house. Damn, that's a powerful shot. Oh, unfortunately, there goes some of our men. All right, we gotta hit this. We gotta hit this right. Beautiful, knocked out. All right, here comes a bunch of Germans. Good target right here. Just got a lead. Boom. And another good shot. Right there. Beautiful. Wow, artillery, extremely powerful. Extremely. All right, let's get all of our men behind this wall here. The enemy doesn't really stand a chance now that we've basically built this defensive line. Though it's not as beautiful as the other ones, it's going to work better because all of our men are pointing in the same direction. And the enemy's going to have to basically come from here. Let's get our Schneider weapon ready. Actually, let's push that a little closer. Our MG is down. Recap that. And it looks like some weapon on the left is down as well. What is that? can't really see. Seems to be some yellow triangle, which is an object that we can interact with. But this is why playing this game sometimes can be a real nightmare. Not exactly sure what it is or where it is. Seems like it might be in this barn. Oh, there's an MG just right there. Just just sitting just sitting on in the warehouse. Just go go, go get that if you want to micro that. Are our men on that MG dead again? MG's not even shooting there as there's a guy in front of it. Let's get this MG out of there. Bad position for it. Now let's check the ammo count. 410. Let's get a couple more guys to grab this other MG out of the barn. You gotta be very observant in this game. They're now gonna probably try to come up here to capture our uh, guns, so it might be time to leave, I think. Let's go ahead and get this guy off. And we'll move our artillery elsewhere. So rather than losing these guns now that we've taken out enemy positions, we're just going to mosey on down here, which is American for move. Look at all those individual troops. This horse is going to be useless for now. A lot of troops coming. Would, it seems like a bad time to move this. Oh, you know what? Actually, damn, that, gun, that uh, horse is now dead. The hell happened? Okay, I think there was a glitch or something like that. This horse just got killed, basically, by probably the horrible AI, as usually in Meta War Assault Squad, the AI does provide most casualties anyway. Especially when you're trying to move a gun or something like that, that's what always happens. Let's get this guy in here. Alright, let's uh, manually control this gun out of here. Is this guy drunk? What what is what does being shy have anything to do with anything? All right. Anyway. So that other gun is about to be crushed here in a second. Let's get a shot off quickly before this guy gets killed. We'll do exactly what the Germans did to us. Oh, damn, now he's down. Well, anyway, they're going to flank around through the uh, this position here. We did a good job of at least getting that gun out of the area. And let's go ahead and keep it on the move just in case. We're still holding this position. We may as well flank right. And we've still got our Schneider gun here as well to f turn around and fire at this position on the right. It'll take him a moment, but... 
All right. Etienne, have you got any bullets? I run out of ammo. I like this game though. The interaction between characters really cool. The voice acting is about as um, I don't want to say poor, but um, it's as unique as it was in Meta War the original. And there's something you have to respect and appreciate about that. All right. See now there's so much. See now it took me a second to see that machine gun, and that's a real problem. Well, open fire. No rounds, of course. So the whole German army just sneaking by. Oh my god. Wow, are they flanking more than ever. Wow, they're actually going to flank uh, with full ferocity here. As long as we keep shooting at them, it'll thin out their numbers, and we'll actually be able to deal with them. Get behind some actual hard cover here. And getting these troops to stop to engage us is a huge help. This is their big attack, let's get all the men on the line. That other MG, where did we put that? Okay, guys on the left here can fall in. Start flanking them on the left. They're gonna break through on the right here. Let's get this guy down. Keep the artillery fire going. HE shell away. Two? We need more than that. Let's get these guys at the front of the line. Wow, not doing too much damage there now. Defensive line here. There we go. Thin them out. Thin, thin them out. That's it. That's what we gotta do. So now we're kind of just flanking them internally. <laughs> really strange how I've had to play this, but that defensive line made all the difference. Do we actually have access to this cannon still? Yeah, we may as well just wreck them. Wow. All right, so I love the sound effects on that shell being pulled out. Nice handgun doing a real good job at close range like that. Looks like Adolf Hitler himself is trying to hide. Nice try. Uh oh. Oh no. Well, now World War II started. But anyway, you can micro control men like that. Of course, if this was men of war, it'd be a hell of a lot easier to kill them with a damn hand uh, with a grenade. We don't have much time. The Germans have outflanked us, and we'll gain access to our rear soon. You are the only forces who haven't retreated yet. All right, so we have to retreat. Our orders are: uh, train is leaving in a minute and fifteen. I guess our orders then are to hop on the train and GTFO. Okay, we got a guy on the horse. I don't know if we can bring any other weapons with us. I don't I don't think we're actually permitted to do that, so it's infantry only. So it looks like the Germans were successfully able to break through. Let's go ahead and get back to the train then with everybody we got. Let's get off that MG. And uh, get everybody on the train. So basically, we kind of did what we uh, came to do. We passed through town. We lost half of our troops, of course, but... Uh, that's the way it was, and what a real baptism by fire. I can remember playing the original Meta War thinking, man, this is going to be one hell of a hard game. And damn, is that ever true. So if you want a challenge, and if you want to go back to games where you have to auto-save and think your strategy out and then rethink it again and again, that's what you got to do. So hopefully we can get all these troops out of here in just a few seconds. There may be some men who have to be left behind, but unfortunately there's no other way out of the battle. We're on the run from the Germans now. These guys, unfortunately, are going to be stuck behind enemy lines, but that's all right. That'll make for a good movie. 
These guys, like, literally go to a crawl once they run out of stamina. And uh, I'm double-clicking, and I guess their stamina bar has to be fully rebuilt before they can use it. So you can see they're kind of on, like, a PO... Oh, um, like a COPD jog. Like, these guns are automated. I can't do anything to shoot. And I think our troops can shoot from the windows. We're starting to lose men. The train has finally uh, agreed to uh, retreat. By the way, our objective, don't let the Germans capture the station. Uh, pretty sure they won. <laughs> Fish and mailed. We have seen the terror of war on a very first day. So many soldiers died for nothing. The battle is lost. Nobody knows what tomorrow will bring. Only a miracle can save us. So there you go. I will continue to play this great game. I am really enjoying this. And Jackal Ace of the Rat Pack also plans to join me as well. So hopefully there will be some fun gameplay with him at some point. So 417 men died on the enemy team in two vehicles. We lost 91 men in a vehicle. I believe that may have been the train at the start. Vehicles, by the way, also do count as artillery pieces and machine guns and such. So if any of that was destroyed, that's what counts. So look at the Germans chase us. So that's it for now, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, I'll see you. Bye.